Crafty Creators, I'm Shelly. Welcome to my channel. Have you ever had a set of blinds that is too long? How do you do this? How do, how do you make them shorter? I can't do, oh, wait a minute. Yes, I can, and I'm gonna teach you how. I will teach you how to remove sections of these blinds and turn it into one that'll fit exactly what you want in your window. And besides that, when I'm done, I'm gonna show you a nifty little trick to do with part of your blind system that will be a great decor hack. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do because I would love to have you part of my crafting family. So that being said, let's get to getting <laughs> we are going to hang some blinds today and we are also going to learn how to remove the extra verticals that you always end up with if you have a window that is a little bit smaller than your blinds as far as the length goes. So my window is 53. These are 72. So I've got several inches of verticals that I don't want. So with that being said, I'm going to wash the window first and then we'll hang the blinds and then I'll teach you how to uh, remove those. Dig out everything that's in the box. We have our little hardware box. That's gonna have our screws and our pieces that go on the window to attach the blinds to. Now, keep in mind that these can be attached on the inside or the outside of the window. I picked this specific size because I wanted these to go on the inside of my window. So they will actually hang from the interior frame. So we have our blinds and we have our blind stick, which you use to open and shut your blinds as far as this way. I have a little decor trick that I will share with you. It's a pretty neat little trick. These go right here when you're done. We have all of our screws and then we have our attachments that will go on the inside of the window. These right here go on inside of the blinds right here at the bottom. If you want to attach your blinds to the bottom of your window so that they cannot go up and down, this is what you use. And I will probably not use it because most people don't. The first two pieces we're gonna need are This specific kind of blind that I'm getting that actually is labeled top so you know which way to put it. Like I said, this is going on the inside of my window. I'm going to be putting these about a couple of inches away. Um, you can go all the way back, you can go all the way forward. What I'm going to put it is about right here and I am going to make little marks with my pencil where my screws are going to go. And then I'll drill my holes. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Now I have a little drill bit here and I'm just gonna drill tiny pilot holes. I could use my drill for this, but I prefer to do it this way where I have more control. The screw can slide back and forth. So when you put them up here, don't tighten them all the way until they're exactly where you want them. Because maybe you don't want them to be all the way back. Maybe you want them to go forward a little bit. And this gives you that kind of control to uh, be able to move them around. So as I said, you have how, you leave them loose. You see how you can slide these back and forth? And then with that, you can decide exactly where you want it. Honestly, I think I am gonna move them forward. I like the way that looks. So I will do the next one. The box that the blinds came in didn't, didn't even come with, come with all the screws, so I got gypped by a screw. First thing you wanna do after you put, you, uh, put your hooks in, is you want to put these little doohickeys on, they come with like a little air conditioner vents. And you just put them at the ends and press into place, just like that. Now when you go to hang your blinds, you want to make sure that this little hole is facing you because that's where your 
your little handle goes. So to hang your blinds, you want that part right there, a little tiny hook right there is gonna hook to the inside, okay, of your blinds. Line it up and it snaps right into place, okay? There we go, and there you have it. Blinds are up and then they pull down like this. There's no string. And then to open them, you just take your hand at the bottom and you push up like this and voila. Now the handle will go on right here, but I have a decor trick that we're gonna do with this handle later. So we're gonna set that to the side. First, we are going to learn how to pull out some of these because this is way too long. I want my window to stop right here. I don't want it to stop at the bottom of the wall. So I'm going to be removing all of these excess blinds. So that is the next step. Okay, my crafty creators, it is time to shorten this up. It came with the pieces to put on the ends, but I'm not gonna put those in yet because we want to pull out all of this extra. Look at how much there is, that's a lot. Step one is to make sure that your blinds are in the open position like this. Now, I'm gonna put a piece of tape where I want my blinds to end, right at the base of my window. The reason that I'm putting a piece of tape here is because I don't wanna accidentally cut the one that I wanna keep. It's this one, so I'll put that there, and that's just my reminder, don't cut this one off. And then I will go to the other end of it as well. Okay, so step one is going to be to cut these off, and you wanna do it through the hole, okay? So, you wanna do one at a time, you see, you see this string, you see it here, and you see it here. Okay, you got string here, string here, and then you have the string on top. Don't cut the string, just cut the blind. So you wanna be very careful not to cut the string. Okay, so there's that one in the front, and then the back, okay? Now, as you cut them, you just obviously you're going to throw them away unless you have something that you want to do with them. So, I'm going to cut this side off first, and then I'll cut the other side. This is I'm going to do all of the right or all of the left. And I have found that as long as I put my finger right here to move that string, I will not cut that string. You see how I'm holding the string to the side, and then. Once I cut the other side, then they'll literally just fall out. I'm gonna cut these all the way to the bottom. That is the left. Now, we're gonna turn and we're gonna do the right. I have cut off a total of 25 of these. Now don't, don't forget, don't, don't accidentally cut the string and remove it from the base, because you need to keep this base. So you're just gonna repeat the process on the right. And as you can see, these pull right out. And now it's just string props. I have found that if you just cut the front like that, then you can twist it and snap it off. So there you have it, and there's all the extra string now. Next, see how it looks like a little ladder? We are going to trim down the ladder. We're going to cut out these centers. See these little ten center pieces, like little ladder ladder rungs. Those are the ones that we're going to cut. Cut the ladder. Be careful not to cut this. Okay, just cut the ladder. As you can see, I want you the ladder I can actually cut. Here is the first one. You got the two strings. As you can see with this one, it still has the ladder. So we'll cut that one next, and then we'll cut this one over here, and then now we'll go to the next step. The next step is going to be removing the little buttons. That's what they call these little doohickeys right here. These little buttons off at the bottom.
up here. So I'm gonna take the one on the left, which is the one that controls the opening and the shutting of the verticals for light, okay? And I'm going to pull on it until it's exactly where I want it. And as I pull this, I'm gonna be moving this up. Exactly at the bottom of my window, which is where I wanted it to be. So the next step is to cut away the excess string that you have, okay, the ladder string. So remember, you have to keep one ladder intact, and that's going to hold on this very bottom one. This is my ladder right there. You see the center string? Do not remove that. But you can remove the rest of this. So I'm going to clip it right here. And I'm going to clip it right here. Okay? And what you have left is all of this. So you can just cut this off. Because you don't need it anymore. That's it. Now, take this little peg, push it back in. And that, that, that blind is done. Now we're gonna go to this side. Don't touch this one yet, okay? The center, don't mess with the center. This is way easier than you think. Once you do one or two, you'll just know. Here's the ladder cord, here's the peg. So you're just gonna cut this off. But you don't wanna cut the part of the ladder that's holding the last piece of your blind together. That's this one right here. So we'll cut it right here and right here. And then you just cut off your excess. And then you push the peg back in. Okay, now that these are where we want them, we can go ahead and trim away this. Now remember, that bottom one right there, that's holding this on. Keep that one there. Now this, we're gonna trim it a little bit below. So we're gonna go about an inch or so off. And then we're gonna get rid of this. Take this little tiny bit right here, and you're gonna push it through this hole right here. And then a little peg that didn't have anything attached to it, you'll put it through here. If you notice, there's a slit on each side. So you can take your string and push it down onto that slit right there. And then you can just push it right back up in that hole. That's it. That should do it, see? So we can raise it and we can lower it exactly where we want it. And now when it swings back, it's exactly where I want it on my window. So we have our blinds up and the last thing to do is hang this, but I have a creative crafty nanny way of doing something with this. So we're gonna go do that right now. Follow me. Now for this part of this project, I'm gonna use a jigsaw and a drill. It's just plastic. I'm gonna cut this down to about, I think I'm gonna go seven inches because that'll still give me enough to open and shut it. And the reason that I'm cutting it is because I did another one of these and I actually used um, my wire cutters or something and it ruined it. So I'm gonna cut it with my jig and it will only take a moment. So the bottom of this has this little tiny peg in it, little clear thing. And I'm gonna pull that out and put it in the bottom of the one that I just cut. I'm gonna cut it off and maybe push it out. Let's see if I can push this out. Okay. So I cut the end off and I was able to get that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the end of this. This is the part that's going to hook into the blind, okay? I'm going to take and drill a hole, let's see, about an inch, about a half inch up from, from that. So that went all the way through. And now this is where the magic happens. Final step. Okay, so this literally just pops right into that right there.
you hear it click, that's all there was to it. Now, as you can see, my stick is little compared to all the other lines out there. I have some floral wire. You can probably barely see that. Floral wire. And I'm going to put that through this hole that I made right here. And I'm going to attach it to this beautiful crystal, like so. And I think that this is way prettier than having that ugly piece of white piping just hanging there. So now, when the sun shines during the day, that's what we'll see. And I'm going to open the blinds and see during the daytime, then we have the prism. Look at the wall. Look at the wall. Isn't that pretty? So when the sun is shining, it'll create this beautiful, elegant prism colors all over my craft room. My crafty creator room. So anyway, there you have it. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week.